Um, my name is Cheyenne from Frisky, otherwise known as Cheyenne Boy. Everybody just call me Cheyenne Boy, you understand? So I'm just trying to get back basically to people who've been emailing me. I do apologize for not getting back to you. I apologize emphatically for not getting back to a lot of people. But I just thought I'd take this brief moment just to hit you up and get back to one or two people. I haven't forgotten you and we will endeavor to get back to all of you. So just, just hold it down for a little longer, you understand? Just hold it down for a little bit longer and I will get back to you, I promise. But I'm just gonna answer maybe four or five or six questions that have been sent to me because I think one or two of them are quite funny. So, here goes. I would say, basically, Danny, um, hopefully we'll go live sometime in 2010. God willing, God willing, if we can keep everything together and keep doing what we're doing and some of the signals online, because we're doing okay. It's going to be sometime in 2010 when we get everything together. Because one or two of the players are playing abroad and they're playing, you know, a few bits. So hopefully sometime in 2010. Well, thank you, Samantha. <laughs> hopefully um, Ripples is going to be out in the next three months, I think. Hopefully if I can get everything finished and done, what I'm going to do. Um, I'm, I'm glad you like the sample, the snippet. So that's going to be out. Please, shake it, sister, shake it. <laughs> it's funny you should mention that. She blows. One of my favourite tracks. Uh, it's quite silly and quite funny. Um, I think that's going to be on the album. If not, I will release it as a single. Um, if I can keep everything together, and I can keep things pushing on, progressing on, you know, the way I want to, then that's going to be at some stage in 2010. So watch out for that, she belongs. And uh, big shout out to Kelly Smith, because that's one of my most favorite tracks on the album. For the will of God, baby. Now, I've got a lot of things ready, and one or two bits of finishing off and things that you're doing. So I'd say some stage in 2010. But in the meantime, I'm just going to be finishing off all the singles, People just buy what they want to buy and you know roll with it that way until I get the complete album out for you. So book the Frisky Band website and just keep your ear to the ground and you know it should happen very soon. You know y'all wanna dance, shake it, sister, shake it. <laughs> a lot of women have said a lot of crazy things, believe me, I can tell you. But um, just off the top of my head, I would say the craziest thing a woman's ever said to me is. Be pregnant and I'll feel your picnic. <laughs> you must be crazy. I've only known you two days. And I wore a chopper cover. That's one of many crazy things that women have said to me. Girl. And I'll feel me picnic. I lie she out there. Now, Heather, <laughs> what have you been eating, girl? What the hell you want? Now, this girl writes, says, Have you ever considered? Having a living sex life. <laughs> well, you won't go there. That's unless you're offering ever. You won't go there. But yeah, I like that one. I just thought I'd have to mention that because that's quite funny. And you do it to girl, and when I see you, I'm going to smack your fat black ass. I presume it's fat and black. <laughs> Whatever shade it is. As long as it's round and juicy, and, you know, then I will endeavor to smack it up. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, without a doubt, both my parents are from Jamaica. They've been brought up in a Jamaican environment and community. Yeah, definitely, because that's what you hear when you're growing up, sweet, beautiful reggae music. You hear ragga, you hear dance you hear the old school Jamaican stuff. You hear from Bob Marley the real as my hero, Prophet Bob. The legendary as well, and a lot of the great UK lovers rock artists. A lot of them are still on the circuit now, doing some great things. So yeah, Jamaican roots have helped, but also the Jamaican, UK roots and culture scene has really helped a lot. The being sort of critical in my upbringing, it's a combination of, of a lot of things, a lot of music from around the world, from Puan Salsa to Brazilian Guadalcada to uh, Jamaican roots and culture. Rasta my reggae music. I got to grow with you, know what I mean? Rasta my reggae music. Yeah, so all of that, show you. Thank you for that. I'd love to work with the legend of Quincy Jones. My dad 
he's always playing the album, songs and stuff like that, should do um, some classic jazz um, albums that he did before, and some film scores, that'd be a great cook that we just work with. Just be in the presence of somebody like that for one day to work on the studio and just see how they, they write and arrange. Also, the great Teddy White, the Black Street. I love the way this guy writes. It's funk, it's hard, of course, it's funk and soulful music. So I would definitely say Teddy White. I love to work baby face. In, in a sense, he reminds me of a kind of modern day Roy Ayers. In a sense. I know Roy Ayers is one of his own, but baby face is the way he writes with Rush and Memphis. I love to work with him. George Clinton from my, my heroes, Parliament. <laughs> you know, those guys who take you straight back to the mothership. We've done an awful lot. Uh, keep things funky, things down, stylish. Um, also the Marley Boys. Yeah, my man, I love for work with a Marley Boy. I understand. And I dread Damien Marley, Stephen Marley. I love to work with those guys. Um, and still in Jamaica. I love to work with Dave Kelly. Dave Kelly is a, it's a quite a brilliant uh, producer. I love his tones and the way he works and how he's got the best in the dance hall. So there's a lot of bands on producers I'm not going to Dave Kelly and some of the boys who, who wrote for Sean Paul and Shaggy, especially on Sean Paul's first album, Dirty Rock and The Trinity. Dirty Rock especially. Um, <clears throat> so I love to work with those guys. I mean, the, the list is endless really. Just creative people who you can learn from. Oh. This is from Mama Africa. I've written for one or two of the people, but nobody, nobody famous, nobody you, you probably can't say not of. But good artist nonetheless. So I've written a couple of jams for a couple of different people here. Um, and I'll constantly endeavor to the other. Wow. My biggest musical influence, well, all the, the personal people that influence me the most, are oh, men, there are millions of people. The list is endless, trust me, point that. I mean, if I say or mention one or two people, I'm going to miss out on the people, but I suppose the ones that spring to mind are Earth, Wind, and Fire, the fabulous Morris White, Philip Bailey, Larry Young, uh, Dee Foster. Spiritual creative writers. Um, Bob Marley, the prophet, God rest him. Um, Rufus and Chaka Khan. Chaka Khan! Yeah, Chaka Khan. Still doing this thing, beautiful, still sexy. This is a very day. So, I haven't heard anybody who can surpass uh, spiritual musical fire. Any modern day people? Um, I mean, I've been influenced by lots of people from Public Enemy to Nas to Malena Shaw to who can I say? Let's go old school. From Parliament to Nat King Cole to Elvis Gerald. This is the list is just endless. You know, I'm missing out on bands like Slave. I love Slave. Bringing us back to leaders of the new school and a lot of the early stylish hip hop and R&B. Um, there's a chick that I'm really into. I've been into her for a while. Chrisette Michelle. She's so sexy. And her music is beautiful. It's stylish. It's warm. It's charismatic. If I had my way, that's my jam. I trust me. That is my jam. When I first saw that girl, my jam was like, uh. Oh, you wanna rub me banana? Who is my ideal woman? Face. <laughs> I really don't know where to start. Um, mind you, there's a chick that lives in a nice street. Man, she's gorgeous. But uh, I just watch how she works it, you know, because I'm, I'm a voyeur. So I just, I tend to watch and look at and see the beauty, the soul, and the spirit. But I suppose, in terms of big names, it ranges from Angela Bassett, to Gina Torres, to uh, the rapper Shauna, to Jungle Gone. <laughs> I've got a thing for really sexy music leaders. I like a lot of women. I like a lot of women. I love a lot of women. So, thanks, Miss Fuentes from Spain. Peace. Okay, people. Gotta go. Peace. Black love. Shake your fat.